What's going on everybody? We are back again working with the XC hand. This is the Hackberry. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to assemble the wrist element. It's gonna look something like this and that is gonna provide us a mechanism for the rest of our hand to attach onto. So our first step is going to be just to get some of the residual plastics that are inside of our holes here filed out and cleaned up. So this is just some of the support material that while the printer was printing uh, it uses to be able to even make circles and things but you have to be able to get this support material out uh, one of the ways to do that is to use a dual head uh, 3d printer so it can do two materials at once and then for one of the materials you're printing in plastic but for the other you're using a dissolvable filament for the support so at the end of it all this stuff that I'm picking out now you would just uh, stick it in some water and it would just dissolve away. Alright, so there we go. I just got the piece uh, situated in there. So that's kind of what you want it to look like, is just flush with the rest. And uh, my guess is that this is going to be some sort of uh, pressable piece that's going to lock the wrist, but also allow you to rotate it when you press down on this outer edge right here. Our next step is to fill these two holes right here with some of these ball bearings. These are precision ball bearings, a quarter inch diameter, stainless. So that's got them both fitting in there quite snug. Alright, so our next step is to take the forearm assembly and to attach this rich joint piece. It had three holes in it, so we're just going to put these three screws through. It's a little difficult just to get those holes positioned correctly with the screws, but once you get it, they go right in. So I'll just work around clockwise, screwing each end a little bit at a time. Kind of like changing the wheel on a car. So once you got that joint connector piece on you can see how these ball bearings are going to fit into those and then this here will be able to stop it from rotating but also when you press down it allows it to rotate one problem I am seeing is that the outer diameter of that inner cylinder there is wider than the inner diameter of our hole so I'll have to fix that by just filing away at that plastic a bit more. And there you have it. That's a good fit. Okay so now that we have our uh, hole all cut out we'll just Put the wrist on, like so, All right? And then this piece here is going to hold hold it in. So those two little uh, prongs fit right in those other holes. And then the next step is just to screw those guys down in there. All right. So after. Alright, so after a few minutes of finagling that thing, I was able to get it on 
and as you can see that just provides a little bit of rotation and then we have our ball bearings in there along with uh, this piece right here I think the goal here is that when you push up on this piece it allows you to rotate and then that's gonna come back down but I'll just have to work on uh, basically uh, the fluidity of pushing this one up and down so the next step seems to be that you basically just take this piece and you stick it in into this other one that looks like some kind of a medieval club or something so just one inside of the other so more or less like that okay and then it looks like this piece here is going to go down inside and just fit right in there okay and then I believe that this piece is going to fit in between the grooves of the other one so they might have to go in together but we'll see about that so that fits pretty nice that's a really good fit right there and then it's supposed to hold on to the other Alright guys, so it turns out that we we're actually missing um, the piece that closes up this wrist. So we had the good man, William Harper. Let me point the camera at William over hey, here. Uh... So we owe most of the project, most of the credit of this project goes to this man right here. Uh, who's done all the 3D printing. You can call him the 3D printing master. And there he is, baby one and baby two and baby three of oh, this man oh nice teeth there <laughs> all right so we got to definitely have a big shout out for him he printed the other side of the wrist so i'm about to show you guys how that goes on right now all right so the way this goes on is it kind of just fits right together like that uh, of course i had to put these screws in together already all right tested it out but that's how it goes you just put that screw right in there give it a nice twist and it fits right into that hole the other one down here right into this hole so let me get that right quick and very easily just goes right in and then over here just like that so then what we'll have is the hand itself uh, has this wrist piece and that fits you can kind of see how you have that circular hole and then this guy with the diamond shape fits in the diamond shape down there so give him a good push in there and it snaps right in right and then we have this hole here which this pin goes in to keep it from slipping out. Just make sure that's right. Get it in there. And then this pin will go in and prevent that from slipping out. So now when you give it a tug, it won't come out of the wrist. So we have our functioning wrist piece just like that. All right, so our next step is to take some of these mail-to-mail -mail pins and get them uh, to the correct sizes, cut them down to the correct sizes. This is the basic concept there. I'll go ahead and apply a little bit of solder. So I didn't officially solder everything down yet, just in case I want to take some of this off later. But that's basically the gist of it, is that board goes... Alright, our next step is just going to be to uh, solder these input and output wires to this uh, voltage drop-down board. So you can see you have a 
in minus, out minus, in plus, and out plus. So there you have it. Okay, so I got the voltage drop down board placed in here. And these are the solder connection points you see. Plus in and plus in and plus in and plus in. It's just got soldered right in there. And I just stuck the board down in there. So that is how it's going to look. And that's going to be the end of part three of this series so on the next part we'll start working on uh, inserting the power supply and battery packs we're going to be using the 18650 batteries and then we should have this thing up and running at the end of part four so stay tuned see you guys next week